welcome back to Namibia. Um, so here we are, uh, still on the project site, and you can see behind me the, uh, the pre-primary hostel uh, that's uh, that where we're doing the work. And uh, w w the team are, have been working diligently on their, uh, on their project. And I think one of the, I'm always interested to watch how these things develop and how teams cope. And one of the things I've noticed um, is the power of a really simple model that's been around for years. It's John Adair's action-centered leadership model. And these guys who are all work in the, in the city in kind of office jobs uh, are suddenly faced with multiple projects, multiple complexity and, and a challenging environment. So there's people digging holes, uh, there's people inside the building putting up shelves, there's people outside using angle grinders and constructing a metal climbing frame. Um, there's people off teaching in the school, just in one of the school buildings over there. There's some people back at camp doing some 360 feedback and, and learning. And so, you and so you've got all these different paths of activity going on. Um, and then we've got two people who are kind of leading the whole thing. And one of the challenges that the team found yesterday was getting completely drawn into, or this was the leaders, totally drawn into the activity. So you've got the people who are leading the whole project and in all its complexity, who are mixing cement, using angle grinders, you know, holding poles to be cemented in place. And the problem with that is they're unable to see the problems, the choke points, the bottlenecks, the uh, duplication of uh, either effort or resources as it arises. So we had a long review last night around the fire and um, it, was, it was one of those models, it just seemed absolutely spot on for the moment. So the, if you don't know it, John Adair's action-centered leadership was based on his principle of leadership and management. There are, qualities. there are qualities of managers that the leader must have and there are qualities of leadership that a manager must have. But within all that, they have to have the capacity to focus on three core areas. They have to be able to focus on the team and morale and what it's doing and how is energy. They have to be able to focus on the task at hand are, are the commitments being met? Are the deadlines being achieved? Are the resources in the right place? And they have to be able to focus on the individuals that comprise the team that are enacting the task. And the individuals in this environment are getting dehydrated and getting tired and they're getting blisters on their hands from digging. And if the leader is sucked into the task, if the leader is completely absorbed by mixing cement, then they're not spotting the needs of the individuals or morale dipping in the team or the complexity of the task which is getting confused and lost because they're involved in just one small bit of it. Bit of it. So today's pressure point really is more of a reminder for you old hands out there who know it's through and through but this in this environment this is a brilliant kind of reminder that team task and individual require the leader's attention in different ways and at different times but they all have to be paid attention to and i guess you know when you're at work just ask yourself stand there and, and we talked about this idea of being in a helicopter of, o of being in an overview position so you can look down on what's going on or stand back and you know from where i'm standing now looking back towards the project site you can see much more of what's going on than if you're up close and personal with the work so I mean, it's an old tried and tested model. It's been used on training courses for forever. It's been, it must have been drawn on more flip charts than, than any other model. But here, where we're doing this project out in this environment, team, task and individual are our absolute priority. And getting a healthy balance between the three and having the capacity to take off and have the overview is more critical than ever. So today's pressure point, John Adair's Action Centre Leadership. Practice it, take it into your workplace, Bring it to life because it really is important. Thanks for watching. <laughs>